Hey guys, Jonah here, and uh, before we get started, I just want to say, fuck cancer, right up the fucking arsehole. Anyway, we are doing another beer review back in the land of Scandinavia, and the beer we're doing, I'm just reading the article actually, is from uh, Egir Brugri, Egir, Egir something like that. Um, really interesting story because uh, the, the main guy responsible um, is uh, from America, from the West Coast. And um, yeah, apparently he was uh, big in computers in Silicon Valley and then decided, why not? I'm going to give everything up and I'm going to make some fucking beer. So yeah, why not indeed? Now, I don't want to get it wrong, but I think Egir and Norway, is that right? Yes, they are. I'm just checking because Scandinavia is about all sorts of different places, not just Sweden, not just Denmark, Norway too, a bit of Finland perhaps. Who knows? Anyway, I'm talking rubbish already and I need a drink. So we have got, there we go, Egir Brugri. Sumble or Sumbel, uh, Porter. If you look, I should have done this to start with. Blatantly got the Norse flag on there, uh, which is really cool. And there's like a, a kind of Viking or sort of, I don't know, very kind of weird tribal looking logo, which is really cool. It's a Porter, 4.7% on the ABV. There is some incredible incredibly small writing on the side there which tells us um it doesn't say it's got any adjuncts in at all i was very surprised but tis a porter tis a porter tapping that bad boy because i really don't want it to because i've had this one a while oh, nice now I'm trying my Canterbury tasting glass. So let us go for a bit of a nice pour. Let's see what we get. Oh, it's pouring. I mean, through the pour, it's looking brown, but in the glass, it's looking very, very dark. Let's tap it off. About there. Can you turn that that way around? looking very very jet black but right at the bottom you can probably see the true color is just off a sort of dark 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 brown just under a finger's head not too much under not perfectly white we're definitely getting a creamy colored head mixture of small and big bubbles so we're, we shall see if this hangs around not saying it will we shall see Oh, we're getting a nice sweet aroma. We're getting sweetness as though, uh, how shall I say, um, sweet fruits that you've kind of chopped up and are ready to put into like a cake or that kind of sweetness. I'm also getting a little bit of roasty kind of coffee or chocolate. Uh, Hmm. Yeah, roasty coffee, but chocolate as in chocolate cake that's kind of waiting to be iced or waiting to have that chocolate fondant put on the outside. It's literally just come out of the oven. You've put it on top on one of those grill things for it to kind of lose some of that, uh, that heat that's steaming up the kitchen with this lovely aroma. But yeah, interesting and sweet. And look, throughout my waxing lyrical and inhaling, that head has disappeared. All I have is a ring. Das Ringo. The Rhine Gold. Anyway, such epics. Although, aren't a surprise to Norway. That's a German one. Das Rhine Gold. Nothing to do with Norway. What am I talking about? Guys, let's get into it. 
And please, if you can, remember to always fuck cancer. Cheers and beers. Tasting the carbonation, that's the main thing. Then it's going into coffee, then it's going into bitter chocolate. There is some sweetness there, but it's not as sweet as it appeared to be from the aroma. Um, you're definitely getting another bit of cocoa, a bit of chocolate in the aftertaste as well. But it's quite a short finish. This is not a lingering finish. There's no oats in there. There's no wheat. There's no additional lactose that I know about. At least the label doesn't say. And um, perhaps as a result, this beer finishes a bit too soon, a bit too quickly. It's all over very quickly. So instead of having this massive gatto of chocolate cake, perhaps this is a chocolate fairy cake you can just eat in one go maybe if you're anything like me you eat the paper case as well you just stick the whole thing in your mouth nom 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 gone tastes stronger than it is four point something if i remember uh where did it say 4.7 well, I think this tastes five and a half at least, maybe six, but um, you never know with uh, porters and stouts. Sometimes they taste a lot stronger and um, aren't, and then other times don't taste very strong and are like eight to nine percent, and you're like, oh, okay, get in trouble with that bad boy. Let's dive in for another another taster. It's interesting. It tastes, that time it tasted quite sweet. And then the bitterness kind of took over. So the bitterness of the malts, the astringency, so that sort of bitter chocolate took over. So I was thinking, oh, this is sweet. And then bitter chocolate kind of took away from the sweetness. So yeah, I don't think this is that sweet a beer. Let me pour the rest in. Every drop is sacred. Right, let me go and see if we can have a quick look on here. See what we can get. There we go. So we've got a story which I couldn't really tell you before. Uh, black, velvety, smooth and malty. Sumbul Porter is a beer with big flavours made for the wee hours it is the wee hours this brew is full bodied with notes of coffee and chocolate coming from roasted malts yeah i've gotten that or getting that i should say uh enjoy it by itself or with food it's even better with chocolate cake aged cheese and desserts recommended temperature blah 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 at a gear we believe that a great beer is best with food etc etc according to odin he made the world's best beer uh egir god of the sea so egir maybe that is egir here with this uh, massive beard and tash a few dragons there and all sorts of crazy tribal patterns and stuff egir really cool actually let me get Let's try and get a nice cheesy shot. Hopefully it, it looked all right. I don't know. I try, I try hard for this channel and get little in reward, apart from my machinations, I should say, drinking beer in the reasonably wee hours. Um, 
so you guys can enjoy the entertainment of watching me trying different beers. And I really like trying different beers, but I also like the therapy or the therapeutic aspect of making videos and vlogging my culinary journey with you. My tasting notes, if you like, because I'm lazy as fuck and I can't be bothered writing shit down. So I'd rather do everything recorded and that way I don't have to remember because it's a, a snapshot in time. Um, like tears in the rain, as Rutger Hauer used to say in Blade Runner. I'll drink to that motherfucker. Nice, but not the best porter I've ever had. Um, a tiny bit watery. Everything's over a little bit too quickly. What I would say to uh, a gear brugri uh, is don't be afraid of adding some adjuncts to your beer. Touch of lacto, uh, touch of oats, maybe a pinch of yeast. I think would serve you a lot better, as would making this beer a, a little bit stronger. Um, it's a little bit too watery in my opinion, um, and under 5%. Some of those flavours aren't strong enough, so kind of get lost a little bit. I think if you did a stronger product, it would serve you very much better. Anyway, don't listen to me. I'm just a beer reviewer. Um, but that's what I would do for my particular taste. Otherwise, the actual overall taste of the chocolate, the roasted coffee, um, the kind of sweetness, the fruit and that kind of thing. Oh, really, really good. But yeah, I would say longer finish, silky smooth in the mouth feel. And this beer would be absolutely perfection. Guys, this has been Uncle Jonah. Please click like, please click subscribe, flick my bell. Um, if you are up for such shenanigans and basically that means you won't miss any more of my videos and you haven't missed this one because you're watching it share some beers guys we'll see you real soon for more beer and more uncle Jonah complete wrongness <laughs>